Hello and a very warm welcome to Smartport TV today from a really huge dredging ship because today we explain you how such a huge ship works and why it's so important for the port of Hamburg. Es gibt den Slow. One of the phrases you frequently hear is we have to keep the port of Hamburg deep enough. So why does the port need continual dredging? Why does the sediment need to be removed all the time? Well, quite simply, because sediment is continually settling. That happens with all waterways, not just in the port of Hamburg. Around the world, all ports have to keep their entrances, berths and channels free of sedimentary buildups. If you were to ask how much collects, well, it varies a lot. In 2011, we dredged 2 million cubic meters of sediment, and in 2015, it was five times that amount. When a lot of water comes down the Elbe, a lot of material is transported towards the North Sea when the tide is low. But when less water comes down the river, then a lot of sediment is deposited here, especially in areas where the current is not very strong. We've just arrived in the area to be dredged. Now the suction pipe is extended over the side. It's connected over the front to the water intake, where the pump is. Then the suction pipe is lowered to the depth defined by the Hamburg Port Authority, and then the dredging begins. So now we've come down to the heart of the dredger. We're in the pump room. What exactly can we see here? What's happening here? This is the vacuum pipe coming from the large suction head we just saw. The water comes in there, and this section removes any air from the sediment to make sure the pump doesn't suck up any air. And this is the pump here with the pressure hose that goes to the loading bay. And of course, the question is, where does all the sediment go? Well, since the end of April, we've had an agreement with the state of Schleswig-Holstein that, under certain conditions, we can take the sediment from the port of Hamburg, the national waterways and the port areas to the North Sea. We've been working on that for several years and have lots of discussions with Schleswig-Holstein and Lower Saxony, including environmental organizations and we eventually identified the best ways of getting a good balance for the port of Hamburg. We spent 70 million euros on dredging last year, so maintaining the right depths for the port is a major activity. Really impressive pictures we brought you today and there's one more information for you. The Bartolomeo Diaz has a dredging capacity of 14,500 cubic meters. See you next time, thanks for watching us and as we say in Hamburg, tschüss!